What's good y'all? Back with another YouTube video. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back and I'm better and I'm in a new place. So forgive my temporary setup. That's why it looks so bland in the background. But once I get everything rolling, we gonna be back in action. But today I got a sneaker review for y'all. This is going to be over the Nike Dunk Go On Fishing Pack. And I really do think these were slept on. I don't see a lot of people doing reviews on these. So I wanted to get on here and show y'all what these are in person because I really do feel like this is going to be a slept on shoe that people go going to want years from now. Now before we do anything else, I need y'all to go down there, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment, share with your friends, share with your mom, share with your auntie, share with your uncle, share with your dog, whatever. The support really goes a long way and it lets me know that y'all like videos like this and I will continue to keep them coming. But without further ado, let's get into it. Off the bat, as you can see, we have no special Nike packaging, just a regular Nike dunk box. I do wear an 11 and a half if any of you care about that. But uh, opening it up, we get to see this nice water Nike paper. You can see the, the Nike logos in within that blue. And then under that, we just got some, you know, your standard paper. Now this to me is probably the cleanest shoe out of the two. And this one is, is inspired by the King Salmon. If you guys haven't seen that, I will be putting a picture somewhere on the screen. Now the big thing with these dunks on both pairs is the hooked swoosh. I really like that small detail and it's one you can definitely miss if you're not paying attention. But I just really love how this one looks. You also have a really nice suede all around the shoe and the toe box is mesh. So you literally cannot crease these, which is a, always a plus. All right, next pair up is the rainbow trout version of the shoes. And we have the same presentation on this one as we did the other. Personally, I would say this one is probably my favorite one out of the two. Just It just hits home for me because I used to go fishing with my uncle uh, back when I was younger and we would always go fish for rainbow trout. So this one sits or resonates with me a little bit harder than the king salmon version, but off rip, I mean, beautiful shoe, beautiful materials. You see they got the pink on the back here. Jumping over to the toe box and the side part of the shoe, you see they have this nice speckled color, which is reminiscent of a trout if you've ever seen one. And they also have the orange tongue. And on this one, as you can see, the swoosh is a little bit different. It's a softer metallic and they have the orange stitching going all the way around. And for me, I really like the orange accents on this to really make it pop. Then we jump on the inside of the shoe and you can see that they have the Beaverton 1972 logo with the pink inside. And it is also featured on the tongue where you would originally see the Nike swoosh. Salmon ones. Y'all already know my favorites are these 
rainbow trout ones all that being said y'all already know what to do go down below leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new let me know if y'all like content like this i do enjoy creating these videos for y'all and oh got me down here too leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all on the next one